Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, we're going to debrief on hands-on exercise 3-3. And what hands-on exercise 3-3 does is it generates JavaScript to put these five textual values into these list item positions. And if you want to create your array with different places just to spice this up, that's absolutely fine. But let's look at the code. The interesting thing about this exercise is it's really the first time where you're on your own. You're not given the statements to type in. You're just told in general what to do, and you've got to know the JavaScript to complete that. And so the first thing you're told to do is to make an array, step three, called places and set it equal to these five values. And that's where you can mix that up and make them something that is more interesting to you. They're all string values, so they go in quotation marks. They're separated by commas, and a JavaScript semicolon character ends that statement. Then in step four, you're asked to create a function called process places, and you know how to do that. Function, function name, followed by parentheses, and all the code inside the function goes in curly braces. You're also asked to run this code based off of a for loop, and we know that the for loop code also goes inside of curly braces, and the information that the for loop needs to determine how many times it runs are in parentheses right after the word for, and there's three parts. There's the first part where we declare the initial variable and what the value of that will be. So we're declaring the variable i, and we're setting it equal to zero, followed by a semicolon. We're telling the for loop how long to process. We will continue processing this loop until this evaluates false. So we're going to run it for i equals zero, one, two, three, and four. We're going to run this loop five times because when i hits the number five, this will be false and the code will stop. And we're incrementing i by one each time we loop through the statements. So now we've got our curly braces and just two statements that do all this. Here we're declaring another variable. We're calling it list item and we're setting it equal to the word item plus i plus one. So the first time through this loop, list item is going to be equal to item one. And why item one? Because that's how we've ID'd our list items in our unordered list. We've identified them as item one, item two, three, four, and five. And in item one, we want to put the first value from our array, which is going to be places zero. So that's why item has to be one digit higher than the index value of our array, places zero goes in item one, places one goes in item two, and so forth down this list item. So this is the most interesting statement probably, that document dot get element by ID, list item, which increments by one, the five times we go through this loop, its inner HTML property is set to the value of the places array, whatever position we're in, zero, one, two, three, or four. We're going to run our process places function off of an event listener. And again, the book gives us the code to not only run it off the current add event listener method, but also the older browsers that had the older attach event method. Thank you.